What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tarantula, with Absolute Monarch Gaming, bringing you another exciting live stream. This time, a live reaction to the Nintendo Direct. Now, um, I know that the Nintendo Direct already came out a couple hours ago, but I, unfortunately, haven't had the opportunity yet to see it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and watch it here. And uh, you guys can watch it with me if you want, if you've already seen it. Then it won't be exciting for you, maybe. But um, I haven't seen it, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. I already know the first thing because I accidentally started the video ahead of time. I already know the first thing, and this was was this announced before? Not really, not necessarily announced. Excuse me. This was um, known before because it kind of leaked. Was um, Overwatch for Nintendo Switch. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Nintendo Direct coming directly to you September 4th, 2019. Okay, this we were all knew was coming because there was a leak. This is no surprise. The worldwide phenomenon. I just don't know how it's going to play on the Nintendo Switch, but I hope it has motion controls. Kind of like how Paladins does. And I wonder. How much is it gonna cost? If it's like 20 bucks, maybe I'll get it. Cause I already own the game, and I don't have to buy it. Bye, Angel. You waste to play. Oh, you mean on the go? Okay, but the other thing too is that like, it's an online game. You can't really play it on the globe because it won't be online. Okay, Overwatch. Available October. It's coming pretty soon. Pretty soon. Are they gonna say anything about it, or is it just like a? Hello, everyone. Hi, Donabo. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Shinya Takahashi. Takahashi is a popular last name in Japan. Of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch. Why would you know? Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward. It's like a month away. Okay. But how much is it going to cost? The first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. All right, let's see. What we got? What we got? Did we just mention? Ah, oh, yes. You got to see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Unseen floors. Luigi's <gasps> Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? Oh. Hi. Guess we should expect some mummies. Harsh sand. Oh, you can and catch more than one ghost at a time. As Ooh. for the other floors, oh. well, there's a disco floor, a pirate-themed restaurant. You get the idea. <laughs> That's cool. The usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of Scream amazing, Park. Step right up to this all new attraction. Ten minutes on enemy RPGs and I get hype again and it continues. What's up, MLG? And a Gooigi team. <gasps> With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. Oh, that's so cool! Can defeat the most ghosts. That's gonna kick so much butt. By piloting floaties with the Poltergeist G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st. Ooh, it's, it's coming out! Halloween. On Halloween! Get new free to new start free to Kirby start game Kirby for the Nintendo Switch? The free to start? Kirby, 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 and Kirby. It's free to start? What is this? <laughs> uh. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Take up quests in town, and collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear. And get ready. James. Some mighty tough enemies await. So there are more than 100 quests. You have to like so buy it eventually or get something. Get your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. Is this available now, you or have to wait alone, for this? Together on one system, team up via local wireless, or even play online. I do like playing online. That looks like the boss from Smash. 
It'll be time to unite Which I know comes from Kirby's. From around the world and overcome each challenging quest. You've been playing it? Super Kirby Clash. Oh, it's available now. Today. Oh. Remember, it's free to start too. It's free to start. <laughs> this long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. She cute though. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in this the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, that hairdo. Protagonist and Ew! Companions. Oh, the one he's strong. Will determine which of the wow, it's 60 frames per second. This world. Now you oh, she got it. <laughs> oh, each character advances, the lip syncing is so bad. To switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light. Or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Oh, it's the guy from Never Ending Story. I've seen that movie. Full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. You can't. Roblox isn't on the Switch? I thought it was. Again, the wheels of fate I don't know. Are beginning to turn. Guigi is just better than Luigi. Guigi, I'm a Guigi for as a fighter in Smash. For the beloved world of Trials of Mana on April 24. So I'm guessing you don't know about the new Smash stuff yet. No. I mean, I one thing was kind of spoiled for me. I know there's a Sans costume coming because I saw it on Twitter when I posted about. Um, I posted my Nintendo Direct on Twitter and I saw the uh, Sans costume. The fate of the crew remains unknown. And I think Benjo Kazooie is available today or something like that. But I could be wrong. Board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than one device. I had a feeling they would the reveal DLC number four. To turn back time and witness each the graphics in this are kind of cool, but I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of like, it's a cool concept, but I don't know if I want to play a game like this all day. Observe the situation. I think and record your it would bother my eyes after a while. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? What's up, Boo? Little See, little, it's already hurting my eyes. The misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Guiji for Smash, that's what I want. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. Can't you just say like the day it comes out? Why is it gonna say fall? We're already in the There's fall 2019. Out there with a big secret. Oh, that looks cute. Never little town hero. Town. This is the same people that, that make Pokemon. Read upon by the people of this peaceful town. And the castle protecting it. One day, you have to leave town. Appeared a giant monster. Oh, it's the monster from Monster Hunter, Rajang or whatever. One boy named Axe will stand up to face it. His name is Axe. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. Oh. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything. If there's any hope to win. I don't know how I feel about During this. Battle, can move around to garner support from townspeople. It looks cool until they went to the Take battle system. To gain the advantage. But now it just looks like a really slow place to RPG. Harvest Moon? I like Harvest Moon. RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game is composed by Undertale Shippu creator so Toby Fox. Oh. Little Town Hero will make a Wait, stand Toby Fox? From, is he from Undertale? What did they say? I missed the whole thing. You can pre -purchase and pre it takes place in the 1760s? Today. Maybe. Fall starts in 17 days. See? They, oh. Fall is coming Here's Super Smash Banjo Kazawi. Available today. The release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. Oh. Let me guess, today? The release date is today. I had a feeling. After today's Nintendo Direct, we'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately Yo, following the Nintendo wait, Direct. Yo, wait, Sons is in Smash. Right now. I heard. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. But first, here we go. SNK. Who's it gonna be? I forget the guy's name. He has a wait. <gasps> oh, the Wii U. Oh, we're going back to Neo Geo. Like Super Nintendo. Neo Geo. See, I called it. And what is his name? 
Max Fury or something like that? Tiger Fury or Ti Max... I don't know his name, he's got a red cap. I wasn't a big King of Fighters player. But everybody knew- this was kind of like leaked. What is this new Geo? It was a really cool arcade system. That guy, I don't know his name. But is he gonna have- I hope he has the female alt. Everybody's trying to grab this letter, but nobody can grab it. This is the, secretly the DLC character is the letter, the most evasive character in Smash. Is, it, is his name Max Fury or something like that? I don't know his name. I just hope that he has the female alt skin. Him. Terry. Oh, now in development? Do, they don't have any screens or video or footage or... Oh, come on. That is cheap. This was leaked, so we already kind of knew about that. Terry Bogard. There you go. So... Oh, he's coming in November. Wow. Joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Can there really be only one left? Oh, snap. There's more DLC fighters. <laughs> We're happy to confirm Woo! the development of more DLC. Do I have to pay for them though or no? Brothers Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the fighters pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. Do they get the battle isn't over yet? But wait. If they hand the female skin of Terry, I'll, I'll I'll try that. So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. It's about time to wake the windfish in the Legend of Zelda. Oh, Legend of Zelda. Which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders, face a series of puzzling tasks, and encounter. Because I, I always play as a female character faces. skin. Hey, wait, happens, was that Kirby? Link escape Koholint Island before its Laura likes it. Laura wants this game. She says it's cute. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. And can you share that with friends? That alter chambers. Can I share my chamber with friends? Dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda. Toon Link is my true main. Way, One of my good friends played Toon Link, and he was so hard the to fight. Of Zelda. He Link's kicked butt. Will launch before you know it on September 20th. Oh, before you know it, but you know it on September 20th. You know it's going to launch on September 20th, but it's going to launch before you know it. So does that mean it's coming before you September 20th? The hero's might from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Oh, Dragon I hate Quest the hero. S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to I think to he looks weird too. I like the way he looks. And 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. That's kind of cool though. New character focused stories. The day the game launches, a free, free DLC content can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items. And more equipment Who cares about consumable items? Oh my god. An RPG giant draws near. Here's just annoying. Dragon Quest I just I'm just Echoes of an elusive age definitive edition. I just want less third party characters. Because now it's becoming like Super Smash third party Until characters. Then, you can prepare for your adventure oh, there's a free demo. demo. E what day did they say it was coming out? September 27th? And we can try the free demo? Okay. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. I'm kind of really into Astral Chain right now, so. Looking for more Fire, Fire Emblem? Emblem? This? Then say hello to Tokyo. Oh, this game. The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths. Good thing I didn't buy this when it came out on the Wii U. <laughs> <Switch>. <laughs> the story takes place in modern-day Tokyo, 
where creative energy is so abundant, it's materialized into something called Performa, which attracts wicked mirages. I wanted to buy this game when it came out for the Wii U, but I just didn't know anything about this series. And his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Krom and Sita will be from another dimension. Why Krom? Together, you'll wage deep, turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Right, Director's Cut sure Edition. Check out the other new features, Typical. From the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first so time. So glad that I didn't buy this hey, game. Is that Tiki? I hope the new line of DLCs will be characters from the Nintendo franchise. I, I hope so too. On January 17th. You can pre -purchase I wonder if like all these companies are just paying Nintendo to make their characters in there. They're just like buying a spot in Smash Bros. Is, what it seems. is this a... Boston, 2019. It all begins oh, I don't know this game. When FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial... <laughs> they gotta spell Aaliyah in the most weird way possible. ...to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans. They could spell like the normal way, but no, they gotta spell it with two A's, a Y, an H. Like what? <laughs> Who spells Aaliyah that way? It's like ah, Aaliyah. Imagine by 2020, Nintendo turns every kid in a game. Japan exists too. I like Japan. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Wait, for free? For free? Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Awkward. Switch. Awkward. I have that game Check on Steam. Out. I never played it though. I don't even know what the game looks like. I got it. Give me some waffle fries. For free. Become whoever you want to be. What if I want to become Aaliyah? Can I become Aaliyah? Ew, that thing has a tail. Prepare yourself. Oil, cursed fire. Oh my god, that fire's cursed. Share cloud saves between- Oh wait, I can share a save between Steam and Nintendo Switch? Oh man, that's so, ex that's so cool. That's crazy. Does that mean that this game should be free? If I have it for Steam? It should be free. Does that mean this is gonna be crossplay between Nintendo Switch and Steam? Cause that'd be really cool. Bring the adventure. Available today. Vote free. And now for a message from Bethesda. Is this Borderlands 3? Hey Nintendo fans. Oh. Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch. Later this year. It's going to be a spin-off, isn't many it? Of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Oh, is this Quake? Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular oh, Doom. shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, <laughs> Doom. Doom 64. He's coming to Super Smash Bros. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the demons. Yo, know, those graphics did not age well. Levels. Or if you're a new, these are ga these are games that I was playing when I was a kid. Like even before this was out in the Nintendo 64, I played this game. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Plants vs Zombies. Wait, December 22nd? Oh, November 22nd. Okay, what's next? Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real. Oh, what's that girl? As one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges oh, which will she jumped backwards off the helicopter. And tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online. Every three so shots is a woman wearing clothes that begins people on their necks. I know, seriously. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary. Oh, she got purple hair? Customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps... Oh, she threw a sword at him. ...in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on... It looks interesting to check out. I don't know. I mean, based on that trailer, I, I'm not sold in that game. But it looks worth going? looking into. 
Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please take a look. Please take a look. Looks. Takes all the looks. Pokemon Sword so and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together. It's a Concordor. <gasps> Among them, it's a Leafeon. It's a Duck Trio. It's a Wooloo. It's a Woe. Ew, a giant P uh, Eevee. Today, we'll no, it has poop above its head. Can look forward to. Oh, that Pokemon blew up. First, customizing your look. Yes, I love it already. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. Oh my god, they got... This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Oh man, look at that customization. Ah, that was such a cute skirt. Whoa, what is that? Plus, a swimsuit? You can change your hairstyle. Oh, I better change my hairstyle. Shoot. Or put on a little makeup. Oh my god. A lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look I might buy this game just for the character think? customization. Second, Bye Lone Penguin, thanks Pokemon for stopping by. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. Wait, you can camp? While you're there, Ew, what you is that Pokemon? Pokemon? Ew, it looks like a Pikachu. And as you get to know oh, it's better, Miku. They'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild, area, <gasps> you can visit other players' camps. That's too. so cool! Ew! Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. Oh my god, that is so we cool! Definitely recommend interacting with another player. Oh my Pokemon. god! Oh my god! Third. Oh my god! Rice. You can Pokemon cook. Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. You can cook on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on this is like cookie mama other ingredients <laughs> needs Pokemon use. not to mention the heart you put into it ah sausage cream <gasps> there are more than 100 types and each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks the goal to master the art of curry wait huh what's that Pokemon doing here and fourth We'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Poltegeist, ha! It makes a ah, that's for funny. By hiding amongst tableware, hotels, and restaurants. Whoa. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. Is it, it Ghost Fairy? Trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon Ew. called Cramorant. Where's the bug Pokemon, yo? Water type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in. It's kind of cute when it's sleeping, though. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, is that a fish or is that a Pokemon? Out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. Oh, Gulp Missile. What is that? Is that a and Pikachu look alike? Have to share with you today. Oh. Pokemon oh my god. Okay, fine. Switch. I'll buy it. No I didn't really want to buy it, but I guess I'll buy it. I can't say no to that anymore. It's too cute. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the gallery. I'm for sure going to get a sword. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch online memberships. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. Uh huh. And now we're looking to add in an additional library of games. Okay. Super Nintendo. It's yes. Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online. That's exciting. With this, oh my God, not Mario Kart. A variety of classic Super NES games. Oh, Yoshi's Island. F Zero. What about Super Metroid? Oh my God, Link's Awakening. That's one of my favorite Zeldas. There are some you may not expect, like Stunt Race FX. Okay, we all know it's all about Super Metroid, though. System for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Or even... <gasps> online. Oh, Is and the rewind function will be available from launch. Oh, that's cheating. Here are the first games we plan to release. I don't see... What about Earthbound? Oh, Super Metroid! 
All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. There's no Earthbound, but there's Super Metroid. Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? Is there a Joy-Con that's a Super Nintendo controller? To the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro That's controller. like, that's just money right there. $20, 30 dollars? be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo I'll Switch take it. Online members. What's up, Black X Gaming? Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. I'll buy it for $30, for $3. to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yeah, where's my GameCube? Oh, update. But can you survive this? Nintendo Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Uh -huh. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Uh, can you survive awkward. against the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, New love for an N64. I want my Sunshine Galaxy remake. I just would like to stream Sunshine. That'd be pretty cool. Your accomplishments. We're tossing in a vast array of new player <gasps> This is a spider bar. This is a spider icon. The second wave of paid DLC is here as well. Wait, you can just pay DLC? I don't want to pay for Tetris. Get together with friends to battle via Did you know that the Tetris theme is a communist theme? In local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will it's be a Russian song. tomorrow. A package version. There's a YouTube video called The History of Russia. There's a YouTube video called The History of Russia with the Tetris theme. It's pretty interesting. You should watch it. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Oh, I like this. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games oh. has become a tradition of its own. I this thought time, it was. There are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football. Skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came. There's from. Metal Sonic. Check out these ten retro style events. Yeah, you should check out this video. Some sweet 2D style oh, that's so cool. <laughs> They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. I like this. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters. And a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo That's so 2020 cool. will go for the gold November 5th. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Oh, I forgot about this game. The full game's release next week. The free oh, it's demo coming? version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later today. I had a In this prologue, oh. you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've Hiya. a mech action game and you're wondering what they punch all each about, other, this is the perfect time to take one. This game looks interesting, I just don't like the environment. The feature of this demo is the co op mode for up to four players. Oh, there's a co op mode. We're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel the like full game includes guys. online play. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Oh. Damon X Machina will be ready. That was so corny. September 13th. Just decided to fall so fun. Is it Jedi Academy? Get out the way! Oh my god! Oh, Jedi Outcast! This is one of the best Star Wars games ever! One of the best Star Wars games ever! I'm I'm not kidding, this is one of the best Star Wars games ever. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single player experience of Star Wars, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. Oh my god, that's so cool. September 24th. I already have it, but it's still cool. Upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. Oh, this is not exciting. Of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. 
you'll have a whole world to explore at home and on the go. The game looks like the graphics got turned down. Complete edition comes to Nintendo Switch on the Switch. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Okay, and that's transform cool. Transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one great value. All past single-player DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming. Ooh, Coming motion aiming. To Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Okay. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. That's pretty cool. Looking to take your Slayer on the go or a rookie ready to forge your legacy. You'll hone your skill. Wait, isn't this game already on Nintendo Switch? Your options and team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. Oh, this game's already on Nintendo Switch? I feel like I played it. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Okay, like what? Is that Forza? What is this? Can you just tell me what oh, just dance? Okay. Hey, was that a panda? Oh, Grid Autosport. Never heard of it. Oh, Farming Simulator. If you ever wanted to become a farmer, this is the game for you. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. I don't know what that is. I heard of it. I just don't know what it is. NBA 2K20. Call of Cthulhu, never heard of it. Is that a, a, a horror game? I like the music though. Outer Worlds. Oh, I heard about this game, but I don't know much about it. Devil May Cry 2. Is it a remake or is it a port? Vampire. Let me guess, it's about vampires? It looks like it. That's it? They said like a list of games. There's only like five. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Ooh. We revealed many details about the game back in June. I don't so care about it. Video covering what Maybe they'll talk about something about their girl. I don't care about it. None of the girls at my school are even worth anything? I don't believe it. What's up, Tom Nook? Desert Island Gateway Package. What's up, Peter? Yeah. Okay, can I get that shirt in Animal Crossing? The graphics look so cool. Oh, he's clapping, but his hands aren't touching. Thank you for choosing the deserted island getaway package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. Uh -huh. For you and the oh, other that participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. Wait, is it going to be in tents all For the time, starters, or can you build a house? Provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Now you can put it on the beach. Oh, can you move and it? there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. Oh, look at that Nook it phone. This is you do build up. With a variety of apps what about the neighbors? Ew, his eyes! Including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. I do like crafting. Let's start by crafting an axe. Okay, do it. I'm We're watching. Going to need some do it. Like branches. Okay, get a branch. Oh, there's a branch. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Nice. Now hit the and tiger stones. with the branch. Oh. Oh, you can pick up rocks now. Services and use the workbench. Can I put a workbench in my home? Nicely done. That doesn't look like an axe. It looks like a toolbox. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I like this. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. Or outside. You can put a campfire inside you can your tent. Tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style, and you can fully enjoy the deserted. Oh, the animals build up too. Nice. Let 
let's head back to Residence Services. Here we sell tools and furniture. Camp we also stove. buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, okay. as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, I feel bad for playing, never playing Animal Crossing before. Nook miles through the Nook eh, it's okay program. if you didn't. You can exchange your miles this is probably a good one to get into it. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so That's be pretty sure cool. to take advantage of this program. Oh, there purple are many hair? Ways to experience the joys of Can you swim in the rivers? On I want to swim in the river. Fishing? That's a big fish. It might be worth a lot of money. Bugs. Oh. Tend to flowers. <gasps> and pick them to make a garland. Ah, that's so cool. Thanks to crafting. There's different kinds of weeds. There's herbs. Oh, the, the leaf umbrella is back. It's raining, but the campfire is still going. Okay, but what about swimming in the river? Get that cicada. You can shovel up a tree? Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. What? That's crazy. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time oh, of day and the season, that's you'll so pretty. different creatures to catch too. Whoever smelled it, dealt it. That's that's not a, that's or, not original. Who together on the same island can play simultaneously. Okay, here's what I want to know. What can you do together? At a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island. For a Look, it's the it's the original villager visit. boy and villager girl. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap oh, they a have photo with everyone Black Village too, that's cool. <gasps> it's a red snapper. Get dumped. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here Oh, still the money rock. Just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. Mushrooms? So many activities, animals to encounter, and more. Ingus, like Ingus beef. You can catch snowflakes. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. I sleep. March 20th, 2020. It's coming. That's only like six months away or something. What are we? So, yeah, it's like six months away. There's still a bit more time until the game launches. So please stay tuned. Is that it? All right. The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Oh. Please give it a look. What is this? Xenoblade? Oh, it's the original Xenoblade Chronicles? Xenoblade Chronicles X? Is it like a definitive edition or something like that? Oh, hi. It's so cute. Do you wish to change it? Huh? This isn't Xenoblade 1, it's, it's Xenoblade Chronicles. The future. <laughs> a vision! I see it! Definitive edition, oh my god, I called it. Good thing I never bought this game. I'm really feeling it. I borrowed it. Wait, who's that? Oh, they updated the graphics. That's pretty cool. 2020. I'm really not feeling it. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Yeah, the graphics Chronicles look way better. Definitive edition. The They're milking this game, huh? In 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. First they're like, hey, today. let's put it on the 3DS. And then they're, now they're like, oh, 3DS is dead. Let's put it on the Switch. Is there any, like, teaser announcement at the end? No, no, that's it. That's it, it. That's all there is. So what was the most exciting thing about that? I don't know. There's some cool things. 
They said it was 40 minutes long. It's 38 minutes long. Um. Smash. Oh. We just mentioned all the good stuff is at the beginning, huh? I like Pokemon, Animal Crossing, Retro Smash, etc. Seen play plus Animal Crossing. Benjo video was in too. Um, I don't know what was the most exciting thing for me. Who do we have? Hello, everyone. Okay, definitely not Overwatch. Please I already have that game. Let me just mention, I'm definitely excited for. Look at that poster. You can see that painting. Where every floor. Look at that painting. It kind of looks like a character from Zelda, to be honest. He's got a crown on. Can you Chrono Tigger on oh, no, a Switch Online? Dang it. Oh, I bet eventually. There's a link to a video. Oh, Benjo Kazooie. How long is that video? 25 minutes? Dang. I do need to watch that video, but or has a distinct theme. Okay, let's do some let's do some analysis. You gotta see this on Luigi's Mansion. Please take a look. Let's take a look. It's time for some analysis, you guys. Okay, so here we got Luigi in a mansion. Okay, it looks like there's a poltergeist in the back left corner, but this also look, looks like this is a mirror. So maybe. Oh, no, this can't be a mirror because he's going through. a... Is this a mirror? It looks like a mirror. Interesting. A spooky mirror. Not a chance for Hearthstone? What? I've never played Hearthstone. I'm eating myself in the red, so bye. Bye for a man. Okay. What else we got? see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Okay, this is the... Hotel so far. Luigi's Mansion we don't know how many floors there are. What we got here? Coat, some bread. It's like a king's crown. Haunted hotel. There's a lot of ambiance here. There's like some smoke. Is this coming from the bread? Is it steamy warm bread? Where every floor. Mhm. Mm I wonder if you can suck up the carpets again. Like you can. uh like you can the original Luigi's Has a Mansion. Theme, unlike any other. I do like the grass here. It's a nice little touch. I'm really interested in the store. Kind of reminds you of the Dark Moon. There's a picture here with some coins in it. You see that in the back? That looks suspicious. I wonder if we can interact with that. And it also looks like there's like symbols points, on these doors. I don't know if you guys saw that. Has a distinct theme, unlike there's a symbol on that door. I wonder if that means that you have to use something to open it. Like maybe fire. Maybe there's branches covering this door here. And you have to use like a fire special to open it. Any other case in point? Kind of like the original we just mentioned. Um, this looks like a hint or something. It's maybe warning you about ghosts. There's two ghosts and two ghosts and a mystery ghost. And I'm suspicious. You should be suspicious. Two sweets. Oh, there's like a weird sh shape on that door too. Kind of looks like a piranha. Yeah, a snake. Snake, huh? I mean, oh, there's a snake. Oh, it's a snake. He's got his scepter up and he's got his scepter down. And there's a switch. A pyramid inside a hotel? Mm hmm. Oh, you can vacuum the sand. Interesting. Sand mechanics. That's gonna fill up the poultry guys real quick. Guess oh, mummies. And looks like this is like an event, like the door locked. With these blue blue bars here, and you maybe have to defeat the mummies to, mummies to pass. So here, somebody was mentioning. I saw this discussion in Discord, um, maybe yesterday. Somebody was talking about not being able to suck up more than one ghost at a time. It looks like there's two ghosts here. So, um, I'd say it's confirmed that you can suck in more than one ghost at a time. Harsh sands and booby traps. Booby traps, get it? There's a boo. What else do we see in here? Is it disco floor? There's a mirror again. Is that an elevator? Kind of like an elevator. Well, this looks interesting to me. I wonder how this is gonna play out. It's like a little mini game. King Boo Boulder, yeah. 
Get it, booby traps. There's a disco floor, a pirate theme. I wonder if it's like a you gotta, well, like a Simon a says, you gotta floor, follow the same moves. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor. Cause they're all doing the same thing, so it looks like you're gonna have to follow the same pattern. Maybe look at this guy back here, the DJ with the afro. That's my, I don't know, if that's a girl or a guy. That's my boy or that's my girl, whoever it is. Okay, bye, Nico. Floor. Pirate themed restaurant. Pirate themed restaurant. This looks pretty interesting. There's a chest here. A ghost ship here. Restaurant. You get the idea. Looks like a maroon beach. The pirate cove. Yeah, pirate cove looks be interesting. The usual amenities, but Ooh. Oh my God! It's a ghost shark. I didn't even notice that the first time. A spectral catch. That's so funny. Look at his red eyes. He should be in Salmon Run. That'd be so funny. They should do a crossover and put this guy in Salmon Run. Like, why the heck not? There's a rogue. Oh, he can jump in. Gallery of bosses to check out before you. Well, check out. Speaking of amenities. Okay, Scream Park. Right up to this all new attraction. Shark Lanes. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. But can you play this online is what I want to know. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00. <laughs> and break the most targets. Hey, even break Luigi needs target. to break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st. I'm just so excited for, for that game. Halloween. Okay. Get a load of this new free to start Kirby game. The combined force okay, we're gonna try this out later today, maybe. I wonder if we can play online, local, I mean, two player. A secret of mana. Yeah, yeah. It looks interesting. I might get it. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it's the guy from Never Ending Story. Who's popcorn? Who's popcorn? I'm talking about the beast from Never Ending Story. The wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Ew. You can play online and local Kirby? Nice. Okay, this game... Yeah, we already talked about that. It's weird. What else was there? Smash is the next thing? Oh, this game looked really cool until the combat. Then I was not about it. Oh, we should look at Pokemon's what we should look at. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. And it's today. We all know that. Until the first. We saw this already. Look at those graphics. Now in development. Okay, what else is there? Oh yeah, Zelda. Look at these amiibos. They all work? View game cause violence. Nintendo defeat bosses with the power of thoughts. Oh, what's up, KG Elliot? How's it going? Long time no see. Thanks for waking me. No, I get, probably not gonna get that game. I don't know. I'll try the demo though. We'll try the demo. We'll give it that much. I don't know if I'm gonna get this game. I always wanted to try it, but I just don't know if I'm gonna get it. New song, new story. Tiki on January. By agent also open by the name of the order. Blah 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 blah. We saw that already. We saw that. That was not that exciting. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's nice that there's more options. Doom, yeah. If you're a newcomer, I'm doing okay. And here you're for treat at the end. With the uh, with the Xenoblade. The Xenoblade remake? This game looks interesting. I have to see more about it before I can commit to it. Okay, let's go through this Pokemon game real quick. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region. There's gonna be snow. Where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. After Xenoblade, what was that after Xenoblade? Isn't Xenoblade the last announcement? Among them, 
you'll encounter new Pokémon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Today, we'll cover oh. four features you can look forward to. First, customizing your look. Once the best again, part about this the game. Entry in the series... So it looks like you can customize shirts, jackets, pants or shorts, dresses, socks, shoes, backpacks, hats, glasses. I can't see that thing because the chat's in the way. Hold on. Gloves. And maybe your undergarments or something? I can't tell what that last one is. Xenoblade was the last thing. Apparently, I mean, on this direct, there was the last thing. Maybe there's. We didn't see any meat fighters. I really like this that they. This is something I really like that they showed. The graphic, the Growly shirt. Oh, well, we have to go to the banjo movie video. Is that what we? Is that what we have to do? So I like this. Um. They have graphic tees now, like with like pictures on them. That's pretty cool. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick. Y okay, there you go. That Arcanine shirt looks so dope. Arcanine art, Camp Curry. They're all about curry, man. Your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. That's such a cute skirt. That outfit though, I wonder what that is. Oh, it's at the banjo demonstration. That's like a swimsuit or like a tracksuit or like a walk time suit? I don't know. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? Okay, there's a banjo Second, video apparently. Pokemon camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. Is Jim Lee's outfit? I guess it was. They'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, Curry. Okay, let's check out this. Uh, Curry on Banjo video. Let's see what goes on here and see what this is all about. Is it Sans? Because if it's Sans, I already saw it. Director of the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Okay. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. You may feel like some time has passed since our Hero showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. Oh wow. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let the me DLC fighters are already work. done. They're just waiting to show them. They're just waiting you to, to release them. In the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself using two controllers, like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Oh my god. doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once. Why don't you just put a CPU? Two characters acting as one. Alright, let's get started. So, what is Banjo-Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. Yeah. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo-Kazooie was released, and then Banjo-Tooie. 
two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. Rips Japan. And then there's Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. Oh. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Bros. series. Wow. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. Oh man, he's promoting the Xbox. Now let's talk about the music. The Banjo Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we were to include you mean a banjo feel? Smash Brothers Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Okay, let's take a look at the fighter. So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original Oh my god, the stage game. rotates. For example, the talent trot here is used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. Their neutral attack is called Claw Swipe. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we've built upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Their flurry attack is a ratatat rap. A ratatat rap. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat barge. Their up smash is build drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty accurate. Their neutral air is Wing Whack. Their back air is an air ratatat rap, which hits three times. Their down air is Beak Buster, which they Spike? use to downstab as they drop. I don't think it spikes. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original game. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts where Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. It's pretty much their go to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here Regal Blaster. Regal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo-Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto-fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. Oh, it's invincible? It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. However, 
You can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Oh. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option, and since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages, but it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. Oh, that's good to know. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock That's like Spring. Sonic Spring. It can be used to recover, and it's throwable too. Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in mid-air after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. So if you're falling, you can use it like this, jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Oh, it's kind of Diddy's special, or recovery. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, Rear Egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile, in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. And because the grenade egg is football shaped, its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. After a certain time, it will explode. I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Your opponents can also throw it back at you. Poor Banjo Kazooie. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. He's, he's not as overpowered as Hero, I don't think. Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the west it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. It's not really a mountain though, it's more of a plateau. A rotation icon will appear. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage oh. turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, that'll throw me off. It'll be weird to see like items that you can't grab anymore. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in yeah. team battle. Diddy Donkey Kong, Kong and Donkey Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too, so I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. Oh, he has items on. That's cheating. Note we're playing with items on. 
Hmm. Oh, he taunted. Pretty good so far. I have two Disrespect. Since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. Oh, their final smash meter's filled up. You can have that. <laughs> you can have that. Now. And. Oh, he got it. I wonder what difficulty he put it on. He obviously didn't put it on nine. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. He hasn't even lost his stock yet. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. It's not gonna kill him and though. And final smash. Oh, I guess it did I kill him. Up, so I win. Banjo picks up the jiggy from the original game. Ew! <laughs> what is that noise? That's a wrap. Cameos. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cool, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Gruntilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo Tui. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Wait, he dies? Next is Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo, number five. This poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's, the She's running at the bottom. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail, even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. Oh. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. And after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo-Kazooie. Oh. oh, maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. Oh, the final they smash? many different colors mm -hmm. and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. What? And now we see something floating around in the background. These are a basic enemy characters buzz bombs. called Buzz Bombs. But since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, they made the cut. Look at them. They're so this lucky. They look like close up. Oh my god, it's cute. It's, it's a little bee. It's basically a dragonfly, right? Okay, fine. Dragonfly. We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well. And we put a lot of effort into these hard-to-see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh, he's only playing with one controller now? Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. Wow. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. Oh my god, he's trying to sweet talk you. you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original Banjo Kazooie's music. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. Oh, that's pretty cool. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. 
and here's the list of tracks this time. Paramount and Mumbles Mountain, Trevor Trolls, Freezy Peak, has been carefully tailored to the action taking place on screen. The new remix. Version 5.0 update. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. Okay. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. No! I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. Okay, what is the game mode? I'm ready for it. And oh, it finally! Is. I've been you waiting for this forever! Bag in front of you as much as possible. And with this bat, not with this, but this bat, and off it goes. Hi. Oh, it's in space? But Maybe a little too high. It's only 150 kilometers to get to space. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. Finally. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contest, so please enjoy. This time, Sandbag Welcome is going back, Lord Penguin. kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tome Expressway. Yeah, but he got to actually play with the second player. He went all the way into space, though. Oh, it's Corrin. Attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. Time to strike. Here we go. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together. And not one person playing as two fighters. Oh, he's got no friends for Masahiro Sakurai. You play this with your friends. Oh, Mii Fighter Move customization? Finally! Many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. If you oh. find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want oh. to play as them. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update. So oh, I hope awkward. you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. Mii Fighter costumes. Dr. Mario? Who's that? Musical Ninja? Oh, never heard of it. Mega Man? Zero? I knew it. Oh, Proto Man. Excuse me. I don't know who that is. Oh, here's Zero. Pokemon? What? Team Rocket? Oh my god, that's so cool. Ha! <laughs> that's hilarious. This is what everybody wanted. Undertale and Super Smash Brothers. Oh, does it come with the song? Is oh, you have to pay for them. <laughs> Each. We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale, who was a popular request. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. It comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the Why? creator of Undertale himself, Toby Fox. 
Toby has actually visited my house and we played Super Smash Brothers Ultimate together. Toby came to his house? He was actually really good. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. Did you play with items though? That's the real question. Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Oh, amiibo? Squirtle? No. No. Ivysaur? No. And Snake. Oh. I don't know why he was hiding. They will each be available on September 20th. E? The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. As part of Challenger Pack 4, Terry Bogard joins the battle. Okay, this is what I've been waiting for. Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Let's see some footage. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Yeah. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. Oh. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> That's dirty. We know the character's ready. I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. We know the character's ready, you're just holding out on us. This is a new stage. That's it? That's all we get? Finally. It was announced that we will be working on even more DLC. Okay, how many more? To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. <laughs> you may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. Yeah. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. I believe that's true. And that so makes sense. I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. I doubt that in the future, like half the third party characters that are in Smash Ultimate probably won't come back in the other Smash games. That's it. Let's try Benjo Kazooie for a little bit and then we'll call it a day. Awkward. Oh. Wrong game. Oh, but I'm... Can I save my game? Man. I'm in the middle of another game. Yee. Yeah. Time to beat you with sands. Did you already make your stands me fighter? Okay, let's see if I can save my game. Calling all officers at Harmony Square. Shut down. Regroup at the designated area. Repeat, 
All officers regroup at the designated area. I'm sending you coordinates now. Iris Starker, did you do that? I've never seen anyone open a gate and go through like that. Let alone come back on their What's own. What's up, Freeze? Well, we'll worry about that later. Head on over to the rendezvous point. Okay. Can I save this game? Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, I gotta download the update. Excuse me. Shame on me for not downloading the update ahead of time. I don't have Banjo Kazooie yet, but I will get Sans for sure. Oh, that's right, you have to pay for Sans, I forgot. Okay. Almost there, 93%. Uh, I don't know, up to you. Either way. Can I add you? Yeah, you can add me. Yeah, let me t I don't know if my friend code is there. Let me type it real quick.
Oh, it's ready. I'll be there. Eventually. I'll be there and I'll be square. Banjo Kazooie joins this battle or whatever. I never freeze. Oh, it's Splatoon. Yay. Okay. New stage added? Oh. New music added? Oh. What a coincidence. I already updated the 5.0. Ew! Ooh, so the Fighter's Pass doesn't include any additional DLC after that. Yeah. Yeah. I got better music than you? I think I've unlocked all the music. What's the little gift icon in the corner? Oh, get presents through special events? Oh, is this new? Inactivity during battles disconnects during battles because you're self destructing. You can get up on a single player. Inappropriate nicknames. Okay. Battle arenas! So we're going to join the arena. And we're going to enter the ID. It's 8FT22. Two eight four nine. And I guess oh I gotta choose a fighter. Wow. Last time I was cloud. Can you believe that? Choose your fighter. Oh my god, the character select screen got smaller. Oh, there's a white banjo kazooie. Oh, there's a zombie looking one. Banjo and kazooie! Banjo and kazooie. <laughs> Is this persona music? Sorry. No copyright today. Okay, I'm ready. Me Gunner. And it's a girl. I'll join after I finish this tourney. Okay, sounds good. Why can't they have the Me Gunner icon look like the Me Gunner character? Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's not at all what I wanted to do. Oh, it's the down B that does it.
Woohoo! I jumped in my fish to turn, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Oh. Oh, I'm in the wrong direction. Oh. Oh, I missed the ledge. Snaz? Sans or Snaz? Peck, peck, peck. Oh. Oh. Convenient lag switch. Slow mo fighting, I know. Oh man, that's a weird uh That's a weird uh launch angle. Not just from behind him. Ow.
Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> Watch me get in and not win another match. You can win, I believe in you. Let me in, let me in. I know how I feel about this skin tone. GG Sans is always powerful. Is he though? You know what? I just realized something about Banjo Kazooie. That I was not using him to his full potential. Shame on me. Can I wait for this Gosh Darn update? Me too. It took forever. I should have done it while I was watching the direct. But it is what it is, and it isn't what it isn't. And what it isn't is what it is. What if they gave Sans his own level too? Oh, his 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 throw berries? I didn't know that. Oh, I suppose. Oh. Rip. Hey, Megalovino come for Smash is like, bro. It's too many doesn't come with own taunts. Alright. I walked right into that. I didn't even mean to. I wanted to do that. Might as well use these. Oh.
Ah, oh, I went out. You ever just smack your partner into the ground because that's what Bancho does. Oh. Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, it does spike. Man, that forward smash though has no range. I think that was gonna kill. Oh, Banjo Kazooie, but the zombie cutlers. Oh my god, it's the zombie Banjo Kazooie. I wonder how many people are playing Banjo Kazooie online right now on Quick Play. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh! Oh snap! That new Ford Air has some launch power. Ouch! My dash attack fell just short.
Wow. Man! Man, look at this, it might be your character. Oh my god, he didn't even grab the ledge! That's so upsetting! Oh, the hit's on the ledge. Disrespect. Good game. You mean who this? Hi. <laughs> You do well with Benjo Kazao. He's got some edge guarding techniques. He might be a good character for her. High recovery. I don't think Blue wants to play. Ah, oh. these babies? Hey. Banjo Kazao. Oh man, I tried to do the same thing. Ugh, I even shielded. Oh. Oh man, he slides a lot. Ah. Oh, front throw is definitely not the kill option.
Oh my god, that grab has no range. Oh. <laughs> no, wrong way. Oh. No. <laughs> Yo, I don't know how I feel about that finish the victory screen though. Okay, last one. And then I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna wrap up the stream. Ready? Go. I still don't know how I feel about this skin for Benjo. Oh. 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 Man, that game was so cheap. I was not expecting that. Oh man, I knew you were going to do that too. Oh, that's so stupid. Wait, that is so sad. <laughs> oh, I didn't even grab the ledge. God. I'm so bad with this character already. <laughs> they cancel each other out.
That's my last feather. Ow. Oh, that doesn't kill. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to do a smash attack. That was so evil. Oh, <laughs> I learned that from you. Bajo music intensifies. Okay, it's Blue's turn. And I'm gonna wrap things up. I'm gonna take off for the night. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And if you're not already, be sure to subscribe. As always, it's your boy, Tyrone Ancelot, Absolute Modern Gaming. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.